I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Pan Pan. This is a cute little uh, puzzle slash adventure thing for uh, Nintendo Switch and Steam. And I'm not sure about other platforms. Um, made by Spellcraft, which is one dude from Sweden, in fact. Published by um, Circle Entertainment, publishes some cool stuff on uh, Switch. They're usually more towards the. Um, Japanese side of the indie scene, but uh, they're pretty cool. They published Legend of Dark Witch and some other stuff. Oh. Our space balloon seems to have had some difficulties. Now loading. At least our warning system has a pretty good beat to it. Well, thanks for watching Pan Pan, that's the end. And we're dead. Goodbye. Oh, 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 he's fine. He's maybe fine. Nah, he's good. We're good. There's... I assume Pan Pan? This, the game doesn't have any dialogue. It's a very Kirby-esque kind of thing. In terms of the, um... Story, quote-unquote. It's also kind of not. I, I guess I just... I find some association with Kirby in terms of the, the storytelling without any words. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. And also feels a very Pikmin-y sort of experience. We just crash land on a weird world. And looks like somebody gave us a little cot. A little powered cot. That was nice of them. So I'm also, speaking of being a sucker for things, um, this kind of flat, low poly kind of look. Love this stuff. So, moo, hello Parker. Yes. Burbs. Hi, Parker. Do you see the birds? Are you here to say hi to the birds? I see. Oh! You're the people that fixed my ship. Nice mustache. Oh! Okay. Parker. Parker's like, human, you're doing a video. Is it for me? Put me in the video. That's right! Oh, save point. Hello, save point. P Parkle. Hi. Hi, hi, yes. Yes, are you explaining the story? No spoilers, Parker. Nice mustache, dude. Oh, you need... Yeah, you want that thing? Okay. So we gotta find four or possibly five plugs and put them in there. Moo! Got some paper going on here. This is the land of the mustaches, apparently. Okay. What do you want? You've got some goo. <laughs> That's a good voice. He wants whatever that is. I'm drinking some kefir over here. It's like... Has anybody had kefir? It's um... It's like a halfway between milk and yogurt. It's like drinkable yogurt. And it doesn't go bad as fast as milk. It's uh... It's really good actually. It's good for you too. Check it out. Um... My, uh, actually, which, I think, it, I forget if it's in the milk thing or, like, the, um, the protein shake thing department. As we can't go that way. Hello, Mr. Torpedo Man. I do, I really like the, um, the fog of war kind of effect. It's not, like, a strategy game, but it, it kind of shows you, okay, you haven't gone over there yet. Maybe you should check that out when you can. Now, I will admit this game's um, story st or the, the the puzzle solutions could be a little weird. Um, I went and played it myself. I will admit, I'm not good at faking when I haven't played stuff. I know a lot of let's players do that. They'll, they'll play a game beforehand, and if you've played the game, you can really tell that they've played it beforehand, and they're they're kind of acting like not. Uh, I've never <laughs> been good at acting and pretending and stuff. How do we get over here? Can't get over there. Um, so yeah, this, this would have been, um, as much as I did like this game, it would have been really awkward to have played it first, or to, you know, to do a first impressions, and I, I picked up on that immediately as I started playing it, because, well, it's a puzzle game, but it's pretty short, and, um, it's really good, just, I will say, if you play this on your own, I mean, you're probably not, because you, you know, you're watching this video, you probably either already played it, or you're just gonna watch the video, but, um, 
it's strange at times. It's um, there's some logic. I'll point it out when it happens. But it's, it can be strange. We got a little vase. Got some sand. And this game does do that kind of puzzle thing that can be frustrating to me, where this clearly, this clearly a thing you need to do. You can't do it quite yet. That can be fine as long as it's clear there's a way to progress. Um, but there's a couple points. There's some games that take that to an extreme. What's down here? Excuse me. No, get down this. Get down the ladders. This game isn't super long either. But um... <laughs> adorable. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to be able to do that. So, you'll find this game has a lot of moments like that where you're, you have access to a puzzle, but you don't quite have the solution to it. And that's alright. Uh, this is not a super long game, but <laughs> it would have been awkward to play um, totally straightforward. There's some crispiness in the audio here. Did you hear that? Um, so this thing seems to activate these. Little nudge. I love the, the, the visuals of this. I already pointed it out, but look at my tiny little legs. Um, the little blobule plant things, just the colors. Um, I'm a real sucker for things like this. Uh, not that. I love when things give you a little sound to be like, yep, you did the thing. Like, listen to this. Parkle. <laughs> Parker. My, my, my cat is here on the desk taking up all available space. Ah, here we go. The funny thing about me doing a puzzle thing first, uh, I don't necessarily remember everything, so there will still be moments that I falter. And if I haven't played it long enough, like, Monument Valley, actually, I, I've remembered, like, I don't remember the specific solutions or anything. The Monument Valley is kind of different. Monument Valley is kind of like, you, it, it's much more play around with things and figure stuff out. It's, that's, a very, that's a terrible statement, but I know what I mean. Um, what's this? Like, a Monument Valley, it's not just like, oh, you, you put this block into this, you know, divot. It's not that kind of puzzle. It's just kind of more about exploring the environment. So, we can't seem to do anything here yet. Oh, here we go. Okay. Three, two, three, two, three. Let's start with that. Three... Really good atmospheric sounds. I love when games have good just atmosphere. Uh, very nice. All right, so a three, then it's a two over there. Uh, just put that there for now. Um, it's a two down here. Science noises. While I'm randomly comparing this game to random unrelated things, it does kind of have fe have like a Metroid-y feel. Like just exploring ruins and like screwing with them, I guess. Give me the thing. Yes. So, what's your favorite small little puzzle game? Like there's lots of like really big puzzle games. I actually tend to like smaller short puzzle games. Stuff like Monument Valley. I, I guess Monument Valley is too easy. So if you have something other than Monument Valley, ideally. Oh, it reminds me, I haven't finished Stray Cat Doors. I, I actually, I bought the uh, the no ads thing on that. And um, I finished another level or two, but I still need to finish that. Due to the whole COVID-19 situation, I have not had, uh... wait a minute. Oh, hold up. Um, I haven't been on my phone lately, and it, honestly, it's been good. I, it's let me let me catch up on more, um, you know, 
regular games, non-mobile games. Um, and just... I hate to hate on mobile too much. People are, you know, excessively harsh and stuff, but also... A lot of mobile game stuff is just really bad. Um, Stray Cat Doors is an example of one of the good ones. It's, um... There he go! There he go! Ret to go. Alright, so... We're actually gonna take this, because... We saw one of these pads at the ship, so I'm sure we need this. Um... But yeah, we saw, um, oh, 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 that's, he's fine. For a second, I was like, oh, dead. Um, you keep going, my man. You dig it out. Digging it out with Mr. Robot, man. But no, um, I just haven't been playing very much mobile game stuff, because I'm not, I'm not out of the house, so like, why would I use my phone? If I want to play something, I'll just use my Switch. See, I like stuff like that. I like when games give you a little hint that, yes, you can remove the platform. Because the little thing locked it into place. Um, which, ironically, there's a few situations that we'll see eventually where this game doesn't do that very well. Um, I also like that it's very clear that you need to bring this thing back. Because we saw the little pad that this thing goes on. And we saw one of those pads way back here. So we're just going to bring this back here. Poop this down here. Now this guy, this machine works, I guess. I, I don't know what that did, but he's working. They're working on it. They got little schematics. I'm so glad I crash landed on a place that ha just happens to know exactly how my ship works. But, uh, you know, that's fine. Now, this video might be... A little torn because this game is probably going to be at least two videos in terms of normal length and i'll probably just keep going i i, I don't know in fact how, how far are we yeah we're about 15 minutes and we're like a fourth or fifth of the way through hmm. i don't know i never know what to do these with these videos that are like they're not too i guess let me let me put the question to you which what do you prefer um, if a video is only going to be like two or, th or if a game is only going to be like two or three videos long, um, would you prefer it just be one extra long video? Or would you prefer it to everything to just be like the same usual 15 minutes time? I've never- ooh! It's blue! Okay. I like the little fart tubes. What's blue? You're blue. Oh wait, wait, no, it wasn't just blue, it was the hexagon. Alright, it's always blue, Th that's, this is blue. Okay, so it's the shape we're matching, right. Little airlock there that we gotta get through. Don't you fart at me. Okay, it's obviously not that one, we already know what that one was. It's not that one. Uh. Okay, it's time. You gotta love these little symbols that when your game doesn't use like letters and stuff, you gotta make up symbols and you know. Due to base due to how basic geometry works, you tend to have a lot of the same symbols. The hourglass one is very common. Okay, so it's not that. So we don't even need to check it against the other one. I kinda like puzzles like this where you don't you eventually get enough of it and figured out that you don't need you can just guess the rest. You don't need to confirm it. Get get on the thing. There you go! I find it kind of funny. Do you even remember why the the, the letterboxing appears? It's because in older games um, that were 4-3, it would the letterboxing would happen to indicate to the player this is a movie, um, and movies aren't really letterboxed anymore because everything is you know 16 by 9. I always wonder how that feels to like people that were never used to movies being in a different resolution. Or uh, aspect ratio, rather, than, um, than TV. Must be weird for things to work right the first time, huh? <laughs> Get the goo in there. Very convenient that the goo to operate this machine just grows in this cave. There we go. Thank you. 
I love these simple little machines. I love making simple machines work. This is my kind of puzzle game. Puzzle games where it's like, you know, shift these 500 cubes and every puzzle takes a goddamn hour to make progress on one puzzle. That, that frustrates me. This kind of environmental puzzle. Uh, that is what I like. Now, the big, one of the, the probably the biggest complaint I have about this game is that I got to this point and I was completely baffled. This is why I had to use a guide. What you're supposed to do, you solve that puzzle, and then, because we solved an earlier puzzle, something else happens. And this is a very strange moment, because obviously we can't bring that down here, can we? But we need to bring that down here, because see, it looks like it fits in that screw slot. But see, our friend there from before, you know, broke down here. And now we can go back this way. And I I do kind of wonder what would happen if we solved this puzzle, got that over there first, and then I did this, if I did this puzzle second. Um, I just did it this way because that's the way I did it first. And it seemed like if I did things out of order, that wouldn't happen the same way. I don't know. Uh, maybe just go straight to it. But uh, it's a little odd. Wait, was it this way? Yeah, I think it was this way. I'm also a sucker for like different environments and like like little microbiomes like this. For one thing, it makes things very easy to remember. Oh, I have to go over here. Like if all this was just greenery and crap, it would be very hard to figure out where everything was. Um, you need landmarks. You need environments and stuff. It's a stick. Give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. We got a stick. Oh, 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 we have. Okay. It's a stick. Now we're Link! Heck yeah. We're Zelda, guys! Awesome. So we can hit things with a stick now. Which, believe it or not, is actually pretty important. So. We have stick hit abilities. And there's goo. So I believe... Hmm. Now what was next? See, the things just kind of happen. Like, there's certain triggers to make them happen, and they're very obscure. But, um... Sounds like something big happened over here. Oh! Oops. That's a spooky house. That's a spooky house. You know what? I'm just gonna split the- we're gonna keep these to about 15 minutes in length. Um, I was thinking this go a bit shorter than I thought, but hey, wh whenever I'm just blabbing and, you know, doing stupid things like running around with a stick, it, it always takes a little bit longer. Um, F in the chat from Mr. Robot. Um, I don't like this house. Imagine living in this house where it's like judging you and like blushing at you like, hmm. Like I don't like that at all. I I I need to live in a different in a different house than that. Anyway, we are going to um. Oh, <laughs> you can hit things with stick. Hey hey friends, let me interact with you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, buddy. We're 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 we'll we cool. Yeah, we're cool. All right. This is Pan Pan, and I think we're probably end end up with like three or four videos maybe even um but uh for now tap tap signing out we're gonna check out more of this very soon all right gamers remember to like subscribe and smash that bell frog what are you doing in my house i i, I would just get out ah!